Hello, Caleb here from Parkit360. In this video, we'll show you how to connect the transformer to your fifth wheel trailer and the universal stabilizer bar kit to your trailer's landing legs. Depending on your trailer, the universal stabilizer bars can also be configured to your trailer's kingpin box. To begin, we'll connect the kingpin or gooseneck adapter to your trailer's coupler. Simply slide the adapter onto the trailer's coupler, insert the U-locking pin, and secure with the included D-pin. Now we'll set up the mounting ring tube. To prepare it for the landing leg connection, place it with the mounting holes facing upwards. Next, we'll need the following hardware. Two inner pivot tubes, the narrowest of the shorter tubes, a pair of two inch bolts, and two flat washers. To attach the hardware to the tube, you'll need a socket wrench with a three quarter inch bit. Slide the bolts through each washer and pivot tube, then thread onto the ring tube by hand. Leave them a little loose to allow room for adjustments. Once installed, point both pivot tubes towards the trailer legs. To secure the assembled mounting ring tube to the adapter, you will need the included through bolt and nut, a 3 quarter inch wrench, and a 3 quarter inch socket wrench. Slide the mounting ring tube onto the base of the adapter and secure with the through bolt. Thread the through nut onto the bolt by hand, then secure using the wrench and socket wrench. Move the transformer underneath the adapter to align the base with the dolly's receiver tube. Adjust the dolly and the receiver tube to make sure they're aligned with the kingpin adapter. Once in position, switch the motors to engage mode. Lower the adapter into the dolly's receiver tube. This landing leg connection will require two inner tubes, two outer tubes, and both landing leg tubes. The inner and outer tubes are the same length. The inner tubes are a little bit narrower. The landing leg tubes are the longest and capped off at one end. If your trailer has a drop frame, use the drop frame adapters instead of the outer tubes. All other assembly steps will remain the same. For each side, slide an outer tube over one of the pivot tubes. Line up the pre-drilled holes and secure the connection using a D-pin. Next, insert an inner tube into each of the outer tubes and secure with a D-pin as well. Finally, thread the landing leg attachment roughly about halfway into the end of each landing leg tube. Then, slide the landing leg tube over the inner tube. Ensure that the holes on these tubes are positioned on the side for easy drilling. With the attachments threaded in, choose a connection point on your trailer's landing legs that will allow the stabilizer bars to rest as level as possible. Connect the landing leg attachment to the outside of each landing leg using the supplied bolt and wing nut. To secure the assembly, we'll need to drill a hole where the tubes meet. Using the existing hole on the side of your landing leg tube as a guide, use a 25 64 inch drill bit to drill a hole through one side of the assembly and then the other. After drilling the hole through, secure the two lights together using a D-pin. You only need to drill the first time you assemble the stabilizer bars. For future installations, adjustments can be made by either screwing or unscrewing the landing leg attachments. With the stabilizer bars secured to your trailer, take the socket wrench and fully tighten your inner pivot tubes to the mounting ring tube. Plug in your seven-way connector to allow the dolly to operate your trailer's brakes. With the stabilizer bar kit fully attached, simply remove any wheel blocks or wheel chocks, and then you're ready to park. 